Hey guys, I'm Rick Curran, the Scaly Dad, and I'm here with my son and favorite person in the entire world. <laughs> of course I am. Pierce. <laughs> you know, every week we have a great opportunity to take you out in the field and show you really cool we do. adventures. Yes. And one of the things that we care about as, you know, producers of a television show, and me particularly as a father, is about safety. Yes. When Pierce goes out in the field, I want to make sure that he's safe. I want to make sure he has a great time, but I want him to come home safe, right, Pierce? Definitely. And so the way we do that is we make sure that we have the proper equipment. You know, a lot of the snake chasing and stuff that was done in a few years ago, it was all made up, right? It, it was, really was. It was just a bunch of picking up snakes with sticks. Yeah, it was kind of homemade. You know, people take a coat hanger or a crowbar or something and pick up a snake and stick it in a, in a pillowcase. Yes. Think how things have changed since then. Definitely. A lot. They have. <laughs> well, the cool thing about that is our friends at Midwest Tongs have taken some of the equipment that they gave to us so that we could demonstrate it to you here so that you could see what kind of equipment is important to have out in the field. For example, All right. what do you got there? So I've got a snake bagger. Now this is a great alternative to putting snakes in a pillowcase. It is this big bag here, and it's three bags in one to make sure that nothing can bite through it. It's got a tube at the end where you can attach it to a tub to put the snake in. And it's great because if you need to put a snake in immediately, you can just pick it up and dump it in. Exactly. Now, another cool thing is, is sometimes you're working with bigger snakes, pythons and that, and they can be just as dangerous as the venomous ones, not because they can bite you, but because they can squeeze you. So this is what we call Big Bertha, <laughs> and it's actually designed to move some of the snakes that we actually have in our collection. They're giant snakes, and so you want to have that safe distance. Yes. Now, here's the final cool thing. You see us wearing snake gators out in the field, but they even provided us with some safety boots that we could wear out because when you're out in the woods, even if you're not chasing snakes, but you're just out mowing or moving brush you'll want to protect yourself these types of boots right here keep the snakes from getting through to nothing's you. gonna get through that's that. right <laughs> so stay safe out there guys and stay tuned to scaly adventures mm.